And there's some, you know, heavy rains pounding the country. And uh, that is uh, uh, what, uh, that is the Belo Kipsang there. You have it. Um, earlier on, speaking during the official opening of the papers um, uh, in Westlands. Uh, probably if we can just take a listen on what he's saying, Director. That is a live link, live feed from Westlands. Time for the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education students a day that they're starting the examination. Probably you can take a listen on what Bill Kipsani is saying. Thank you for the good work that we were able to handle together last week as we were doing CAPSE and, uh, and KCP, where we dealt with two point, almost 2.7 million children. What we are starting on and running for the next two, three weeks is 903, almost a million children, which is also quite high. So it means we've been taking through, we shall be taking through 3.7, 3.6 young Kenyans through assessment and examinations. As for the examinations that we are doing, and we are all, we can see that there's been enhanced rains for the last three days. And uh, I would want to thank our colleagues at the Ministry of Interior because they have been giving us continuous uh, appraisals and uh, guidance on what's happening on the ground. Yes, uh, in some regions there are quite enhanced rains. In Tana River yesterday, it affected two of our schools. Uh, where uh, you could see water encroaching into the compounds and we requested uh, our officers in the field to make an assessment this morning and check whether an exam can be taken from the school say that uh, if it cannot they can just be able to make quick arrangements on making sure that our children do the examinations as for movement of examination papers Yesterday in the evening, we deployed quite a number of uh, helicopters to various places across the country, even places where we had not deployed last week. Some of the places where our colleagues at the Ministry of Interior has advised that uh, there could be challenges, we've been able to deploy adequate uh, helicopters. Turkana, we were told there were two sub-counties which were facing uh, enhanced rains and uh, a chopper has been released to that region. We have also another two choppers in Tana River where also there are quite some enhanced rains. And as we do this, we are urging our colleagues to be more careful so that uh, they don't try or attempt to cross rivers where there is flooding because you never know the strength and the, the water that is uh, crossing such uh, roads. So we've advised our colleagues and uh, our colleagues at the Ministry of Interior are continuously updating us in terms of uh, how secure it is, not in terms of uh, any other security, but in terms of the amount of uh, uh, flooding water that may impact on movements. And on places that it is heavily impacting, then that's where I'm saying we have uh, deployed quite a number of choppers to assist us on, uh, on that particular area. On security issues, I was in the, with the Regional Commissioner of Rift Valley last week and uh, from the mapping that they have done, and as you saw last week, we were able to a large extent uh, deliver the KCP and CAPSEA exam without much uh, challenge. And uh, they have secured most of the places that we were having challenges and we don't see a major challenge in terms of security because there are adequate deployments. My colleague, the county commissioner, will make, uh, will make some comments on the issue of security, but I can assure you that so far so good. There is adequate deployment and the multi-agency team is working very well. On issues of security of our examination, I would want to most sincerely thank our colleagues at the Ministry of uh, ICT because this time we have worked very closely with the communication authority, the team from the cybercrime, our telecommunication uh, firms, that is uh, Safaricom, Airtel, they have been very useful in supporting us in making sure that the integrity of our examination is 
taken care of. We've been able to deal with quite a number of uh, uh, spaces on social media. Quite a number of them have been brought down. Quite a number of them have been closed. Quite a number of people have been arrested. Quite a number of these people have been arrested. This week we are very sure we shall continue being very hard on these social media fellas who are giving us challenges. And we look forward to our colleagues at the DCI, our colleagues at the cybercrime, our colleagues at the CA, making sure that uh, these sites are brought down. And again, anyway, this time, you know, I saw on Tuesday one of the persons we arrested is that he was posting Monday's papers on Tuesday. So we are even wondering, why do you post Monday's papers on Tuesday? And what we are seeing is that they are trying to build confidence with their clients that, you see, we can deliver it. But they were delivering a day later. And we know even this week, uh, because uh, we've been trying to control this ex early exposure, that's why we're having this collection twice. And uh, the features and the uh, security features, even in our own examinations, have also been enhanced so that we can quickly be able to judge and know where some of these challenges are coming from. So once again, colleagues, I think we would want to say thank you very much. Let's continue to be partners in this process because it, they are, these are our children. These are your siblings. These are part of us. And therefore, if we continue the same way we walked last week, then I can assure you that uh, we are moving towards better examination. And you could see the security features even opening the paper today is that we had to open the box thereafter open the seal for the morning session and then now get the examination for the school so these are some of the enhanced ways in which we would want to make sure that we protect the integrity of our examination because you know across the world there are two very critical things the passport if your passport is compromised then as a country you are exposed the next thing is that if your certification is uh, compromised, then also as a country you are exposed. So being in charge of the second one, certification, we would, want, we would want to make sure that we do not expose our country and we do not compromise the future because if we don't do that, then we are compromising the future because these kids will not be taken as having gone through a process that can be used anywhere else outside our borders. We would want to make sure that our children are useful beyond our borders. Maybe, maybe you just mentioned about the choppers. What about those institutions where uh, we find a place as flooded? What are the measures going to be taken there? That's the one I said. We've we informed our officers together with our colleagues at the interior that they do a quick assessment. And if that environment is not tenable for an examination, then they can be able to move our candidates to a better, nearer. All right, that is Bailey Kipsang, their PS for Basic Education, talking Westlands, <clears throat> pardon, during the distribution of examination papers, saying that uh, so far enough security have been deployed across the country to take care of the examination starting today, as well as deployment of police choppers, which will be helping in the distribution of papers where accessibility is now being hindered due to the heavy rains. He's also talked about the issue of uh, exam fraudsters or cartels who are out to interfere with the examination that is said um, a couple of guys have been arrested but still the government is going to do much more to make sure that the examination is taken in a more serious manner. Over 903,000 candidates are sitting for the examination that will run for the next 14 to 17 days until the end of, um, sometimes end of uh, uh, part of next month and that is be is going to be happening across the country from here the kbc we wish all the exam uh, students sitting for the examination all the best in their examination